a very significant sign in the heavens where this had traveled over Israel. That's what they saw. This is over the times of Israel. Um, they obviously have to wear special glasses because um, of the solar eclipse. It's called a ring. There was a ring of fire as well. And these are more images from times of Israel. I'm going to show you a model of what they were showing us um, in this video. So I screenshotted where, like, you see the moon, and then in this other next image, how the um, how it became dark over that area. Um, you don't have to stay for this, but I want to discuss uh, Daniel too. This is uh, the statue that a lot of people, if you've studied Old Testament. And it's an example of what would happen after a rapture. Daniel 2 was that this statute that I just showed you, I'm going to show you it again. Um, those of you who don't know, the statue King Nebuchadnezzar had built a statue which everybody had to worship. And by this stage of the game, if you looked at Hunger Games or anything that has been introduced where you had to worship somebody, to basically eat and function as a human being. You, you can get where we're going. But this lawlessness has already been established. Like the fires, the the everything that you see has also been in prophetic dreams. Daniel interpreted the dream for King, Kim, Neb, King Neb, Nebuchadnezzar. And he built a statue with six uh, cubic feet, six... Um, I don't know, cubic feet, probably be tall and then wide, and also six instruments, and then the number of the man be 666. Six, six. And we won't know that, but Daniel 2 is an exact, exactly a, a prediction of what would happen in the rapture. Daniel was caught up right after this happened. So that's the example they give us in the Bible. So if you want to read it and study it. But to me, I wanted to talk about you guys this real briefly about the days of life. The days would be so evil. And what's going on in Seattle it has been confirmed as from uh, listening to Pastor JD as the days of life. That, that's exactly what I had said in my last post. I'm going to put the article um, for the Times of Israel if I can find it. Um, but I'm definitely going to put in the video with uh, Pastor J.D. talking about how the whole matter in Seattle. The whole bottom line is to bring communism in and have each other fighting, okay? The infighting with Christians, all that stuff is all part of establishing everything before the return of, uh, well, in this case, the devil, <laughs> Antichrist. For me, this is really the end of the watch because really, if you're not saved by now, if you haven't been prayed over or talked to about the salvation of Jesus Christ, it's a free gift. We are all facing a death penalty, okay? And the gift of salvation is that you're saved from that death penalty. They would not spare an unborn child, so you should know this, um, that this is the time in which to know Jesus Christ. I pray that you find the Lord now. I, I'm that concerned because a lot of people think that we're just going to get it passed, and it's not like that. We all are subject to death. Uh, we all are facing a death sentence. The unborn child does. The people in uh, Israel who were... Um, now survivors of the Holocaust can attest to it too. Every one of us has to know that this is it. This is the final chapters of the Word of God for, for us who call ourselves saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And to have salvation and to be spared from the, the continual evil, that it would be so evil. The times are going to get so evil. That's why it, I I want to make sure that everyone I know close to me in my proximity, whether you're on my YouTube channel, Facebook page, you're my niece, nephew, cousin, best friend, uh, old neighbor, I want you to know the loving grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. Because this is it for us, guys. This is it. This That's um, statute 
of um, Daniel is just an example of the empires that fell. And Jesus, and that also that when you see the knees knocked out, that looks like the asteroid. But that's a replica of what is to come. And my prayer is that you find Jesus and that you know that the Lord saved you. Look, there it is. Thank you guys for listening.